Hi everyone, it's SVG Coop with a training video for you on how to put together a mini album binding and uh, cover so that you can create your own. Um, I'm going to have the file available on Etsy so you can just buy the binding and the cover. Um, but if you purchased the new Halloween mini album 8x8, uh, you'll automatically get this included. So I just wanted to teach you how to do this and how to make the um, hidden inserts in here and all of that. Okay, so after you cut all of your pieces, one of the things you also need to do is cut some chipboard. So I have two 8x8 pieces, um, a 2x8, and a 1 and 7 eighths by 7 and 7 eighths. So uh, we're going to start with the piece that's part of the um, hidden uh, binding. So your piece that you cut is seven and a half by eight and three quarters and what we're going to do is we're going to score it at the pieces um, at the lines that are in the PDF file that I gave you but we're going to go to one and a quarter and you want to score it pretty good and then we're going to go to three eighths and then one half and a half again three eighths one half one half three eighths one half One half, three eighths, one half, one half again, and three eighths. Okay. So basically you're going to have a scored paper like that and what we're going to do is we're going to fold it on all the scores. So I'm going to take the I'm going to take the first big line and fold it backwards. And then I'm going to fold forwards. And then for the half inch, I want to fold that so that goes up. You're basically just folding this like an accordion on all of the score marks. What we want is all of the half inch score marks to pop up. So I'm just going to make sure that when I get to the half inch ones that those are being scored upwards. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's Done, so you can see. But if you look at the PDF file that I included, you'll see kind of what it's supposed to look like. I drew a line with the measurements so that you could at least get an idea of how it looks um, when you're done folding all of the score marks. Basically what you want is the 3 8 score marks we want those to eventually lay flat and then what we want is for the half inch score marks they're going to pop up off of our page and that's going to be where our hidden um, hinges go okay so you see we have this nice kind of accordion looking piece of paper here so what we're going to do is we're going to glue inside the half inch uh, sections of the binding. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my glue and in between the pieces where it's a half an inch, I'm just going to put some glue here. Push those together. Okay, so we want the half inch pieces to basically Stand up. I'm just going to give that a little second there. Make sure that stays good. Hold on, put a little more glue in there. 
It's okay if you get glue on the bottom piece of the binding because we're going to be gluing this down anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the next one. Give it a good amount of glue. So you can see we're just, we just want this to get nice and sturdy here. Okay, and then the next one, give it a nice bead of glue. And again, don't worry if it you know comes out the bottom because we're going to be gluing that anyway. And I'm using black. I like the black on the inside. Uh, it makes it a little less noticeable. Of course, if you do your book in a different color, your base of your book, you know you probably want to have your binding match that color, even though. You won't see most of it, but you will see a little bit. Okay, I'm going to glue this last one. Okay, so basically when you're done gluing that, it should look something like this. Okay, so you have the four pieces of the half inch sticking up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around the piece of chipboard. I know it's a little bit hard to see. Okay, so next, if you grab your chipboard that is the 1 7 8 by 7 and 7 8 you're going to see two little pieces that look like this. And there's a score mark. So if you just fold it on the score mark and give it some glue, we're just going to cover the ends of our chipboard. Basically, that's so that you know you can't see the chipboard at the top of the inside of your book. I'm going to do the same with this one. Just fold it at the score mark. Give it some glue. Okay. All right. Now, once you have those end pieces on, we're going to take our piece that we just folded and we're basically just going to wrap it around and you want to basically have it halfway around so I'm just going to glue up the center here make sure you can see me here okay and give it a good amount of glue this is going to be you know holding your pages together So I'm going to press that down. I'm just going to fold this, push these out a little bit for a second. Get that nice and glued on nice and tight. Give it a little pressure. Okay, and we're going to turn it over. And we're just going to close it up. I'm just going to glue that. So now, that's going to be the inside of our binding piece, okay? So not as hard as it looks, pretty easy actually. Once you, get, once you figure out how to do the fold for the inner binding, it's really not too bad. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. Next thing we're going to do is, um, I'm going to grab my chipboard. And you're going to have a piece that looks like this. And there's score marks in it, so if you want to just fold it along the score marks. You're basically building a pocket that's going to go around the 2 by 8 piece. And that's just so the inside of your binding looks nice and the tops and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to fold it around the score mark. I'm going to stick our 2 by 8 piece inside. I think my chipboard's just a little bit too wide. That's okay. I'm just going to glue this on. You're basically like wrapping a present. That's all that you're doing here. Just going 
glue that. Trying to make sure your binding uh, chipboard is cut exact. This was I used very heavy chipboard, so I guess I didn't measure it exactly. But I'll show you how we can fix that. There's always a way. Um, okay, so that actually that covers pretty good. And we have a little bit of little tiny piece showing up there, but I'm going to put that towards the bottom. Okay, so anyway, so you have that piece covered. And okay, next you have your eight by eight pieces. So you're going to have um, a piece that looks like this and you're just going to fold it in on the square pieces. And again, we're just going to, it's just like wrapping a present. I'm just gonna put the chipboard inside and glue this up. Now what you may wanna do just to make sure that your pieces are covered really well. Um, if you're using black, for example, you can grab a black Sharpie marker and just color in the corners a little bit. That way nothing will show. Um, but it should it should fit pretty good here. I'm going to do this side. Do the same for the other piece and you can see it makes a nice clean cover top there all right we have one more Actually, I'm using kind of quick drying glue, but taking a little bit of time to dry here. Basically, you want to just make sure you get this on pretty good. Okay, one more side. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is I actually, so two of the pieces you'll see, you'll have like a really long piece and um, a, another piece that is, I think it's, I want to say it's, this one's probably about 11 inches long. Um, these are going to be the outside binding pieces. So I'm just going to take my longer piece. ran it through the Xyron make it very sticky. You can take your longer piece and basically this is going to be the center of the back of your binding. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece, the one that um, we covered, and we're going to, it's the 2 by 8 piece of binding. So we're just going to basically put that in the center And then we're going to take our two 8x8 eight eight pieces and you want to lay it next to your binding piece. You want to give it a little room so that you can uh, fold it over. So we're going to go right about there. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Before we do that, before we do that, we need to do one more thing. What I want to do is I want to, I, I cut out a, a piece that I want to go over here. So I'm just going to, these are the 8x8, or actually I think they're a little bit smaller than 8x8 pieces to cover the um, back and front. So I'm just going to put those on there like this. Take my other one, same thing. And 
I'll show you why we need to get that on there first. Okay, so, um, actually, we can probably do this also. Let's put the these black pieces on. No, we'll save that to them. Okay, let's get our, our tall piece back. All right, so then we're going to put this, make sure you have it the right way up. I'm going to put this back on here, about where it needs to go. Then I'm going to take my other one, make sure it's the right way. And it's okay to kind of eyeball this. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfectly measured. Get that on there. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the top flap and we're just going to flip it over. And that's why I use the Xyron because it makes it stick really, really well. I'm not worrying about glue or you know anything like that. This thing is great. Okay, and then you have the other piece. And it's going to, let's put the black on now. Glue this on the inside of our cover. Actually, we'll put this on first. All right, so we're going to take this piece and we're just going to get it so that it covers the inside here, like this. And glue that down. And we'll glue our black pieces over. And you can decide if you want to glue these above or below. It's totally up to you. It's however you want your book to look. It doesn't have to be this way. You can decide however you want. But I'm going to go with a black inside here. And my last piece. So the next thing is what you want to do is you want to try to fold this ever so carefully. Make sure that's on there tight. Just going to fold that up. And then the other side. Okay. I think I just need a little bit more glue there. Alright, so now we have base for a book. You might want to add a little bit more glue. I think I'm going to go back and add a little glue. But it's nice if you pick a nice paper for your binding um, that matches like that. Okay, so now I need to get our hinges in. So we're going back to our hinge piece. And you want to give this some good glue. But glue is not going to be the only thing that we use to hold this together. Okay, so I'm going to center that on the binding and give it a good press down. Now, you could leave it like that, but I like the idea of putting a brad through it. So, let me just go grab something. Okay, this is uh, this is like a larger crocodile that you can go into any size page. Um, so what we're going to do is we need to put some holes in here so that we can get our brads through. And I'm going to use the one eighth punch. I'm just going to stick this in, and let's see, I'm going to go about there. Punch the other 
side. Okay, let's see. That's there, and you want to be in the center. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have a couple of brads. You want some brads that have a nice long tip to them. And you're going to just stick it through the back of your binding and open that up inside your binding. That's going to help give it a little extra strength. Stick this one in. And open this up. And then what you can do is you can put washi tape, the uh, 3 8 inch washi tape will fit perfectly inside of here so you can cover up the inside of your binding if you want to. And basically that's it. So then what we're going to do, there's one more step. I got a uh, red tape here and this is like nice really strong tape. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually line both sides of the hinge with this tape so that when you glue your pages in you can glue them to this tape and they will stay really really well. Just give that a good little rub and leave the red tape on until you're ready to put your pages in. super easy. The red part just peels right off when you're ready. And basically you're going to do that for the other four and then you're done. You can then glue your pages in and you have your own book. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to bringing you more. All right, have a great day.